Então a gente vai estar falando em inglês, né? Porque eles não sabem português. You can choose for me to either be a nomad or to stay settled. I didn't mind your nomad, even your hitchhiking idea. Do you always understand what I say in English or sometimes you just pretend? I don't pretend, I just don't understand. <laughs> E yeah, aí, gente, belezinha? Eu tô na parte do canal Brasil e com meu marido, Aaron. Olá. E hoje vai ser um vídeo diferente, gente. Estão pedindo muito, aprendendo seu sogro, aprendendo seu sogro. Eles estão aqui do nosso ladinho, a gente vai fazer um vídeo com eles. Um vídeo onde nós vamos estar perguntando coisas pra eles que nunca perguntamos antes, né? Tanto ele pro pai, pros pais dele, quanto eu pra, pro meu sogro, né? Perguntas meio polêmicas. Sim, perguntinhas polêmicas. Não deixa um like, tá bom? Eles são super fofinhos, mas eles são mais calminhos, né? Então a gente vai estar com o vibe mais tranquilo. A gente não quer pressionar muito eles, mas eles estão, eles querem gravar com a gente, então eu tô muito feliz. Feliz, tá bom? E é isso, espero que gostem, deixe um comentário, deixe um like e se inscrevam no canal. Bora pro vídeo, gente. Ok, gente, vamos começar então a primeira perguntinha. Então a gente vai estar tá falando inglês, né? Porque eles não sabem português. But this is Karen. She's my mother-in-law. Hi. <laughs> And this is Russell. And they live in Utah. But they're coming here to visit us for two weeks. And tomorrow they're going back to Utah. It's been great having them here. So yeah, let's get started with this video and ask some questions. Okay. So guys, if you could choose for me to either be a nomad or to stay settled like we are now, which would you choose? Whatever would make you the happiest. Oh, <laughs> that's so cute. Well, <laughs> so that means a nomad. <laughs> we, we understand nomad does, but the problem is nomad with a family and young kids and having getting their life started. Yeah, so, such a, so much adventure for those kids. That's awesome, huh? <laughs> It's definitely harder, yeah. But home ownership is no, it sometimes can be no fun. That, that's a problem. Especially with a pool and Of course, you don't have to have a home ownership. But you could yeah. have, but yeah. a pool is harder. Yes. Yeah. More maintenance. We, we had a pool for a while and uh, we're glad we don't now. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Okay, complete the sentence. Rafa and Aaron are the most couple of the family. The most traveled. <laughs> <laughs> the most creative. Ooh, thank you. Most well, culturally diverse. Thank you. That's great. Have kids that keep them on their toes. <laughs> Have kids that are smart. <laughs> Do you think Hoffa is doing a good job as my wife and mother of your grandkids? Absolutely. Yes, very much so. We're, we're very excited for Rafa. We're glad she's part of the family. Oh, thank you. We love you, Rafa. Oh, thank you. You guys are so sweet. So, while I was single, what kind of worries did you have about me and my future? Well, we worried about whether you're going to be able to settle down. And, uh, you know, you're living off in Las Vegas. And, you know, just not the normal environments that we were accustomed to. I didn't mind your nomad, even your hitchhiking idea. That freaked me out. <laughs> I know, I would be freaked out too if Ryan decided to do that. Okay, next question. Do you always understand what I say in English or sometimes you just pretend? I don't pretend, I just don't understand. <laughs> <laughs> I understand. <laughs> It's hard. You know, when we were on the Kennedy Space Tour, we had two different bus drivers. And they both had a different accent, and they were both a little bit hard to understand. One was much harder to understand than the other. Yeah. But do you think I have a strong accent that's hard to understand? It's not that it's strong and hard to understand, but it's just enough different, where sometimes yes. it's not... I'm not really sure. Yeah, I get it. I understand you. <laughs> <laughs> I speak Spanish anyway, you know. <laughs> <laughs> How do you think Hoffa has changed me as a person since we've been together? Well, you have children, yeah. and you're a good dad, you know. Uh, you used to be pretty particular about things, <laughs> and you've loosened up. <laughs> <laughs> you think that's a good thing or bad, though? I think it's good. I mean, raising children is not easy. Yeah, it's hard uh, for sure. So Yeah, it, it challenges you, but it's usually a good challenge. Yes, it's true. It's a sacrifice, huh? Yeah. 
I agree with pretty much the same thing. That, uh, you've progressed well together. A little more liberal, possibly, than I would have done in the same circumstances, but uh, yeah. it's all right. So tell me two things that are, that are different about me as your Brazilian daughter-in-law compared to the other daughter-in-law. They're like, oh, this is very Brazilian, you know? Well, one thing I think is your cooking. Okay. <laughs> you take ingredients, you make something wonderful out of something I would never expect. <laughs> and the other girls are fine, you know, yeah. but it's just more creative. Yeah, that's good. Thank you. And you, Russell? Well, I think it's interesting how Aaron is an entrepreneur. And he's gone off and he's done something. He saw a need, he filled it the need, you know, it, you wanted to do your own thing too. So mm -hmm. you've gone up with this Brazilians and yeah. it's been kind of exciting. It's and, you know, it's, it's hard enough to raise kids <laughs> and to, you know, there's enough demands. Yeah. To be able to do all these things as well is kind of amazing. Oh, thank you. So what what did you think about Hoffa when you first met her on the video call? Beautiful. Very pleasant. I, I remember <laughs> Aaron being concerned about marrying somebody that was high maintenance. And I don't remember being concerned about Rafa, but uh, I don't know if she's high maintenance or not. Maybe a little bit more than he would want, but I don't think <laughs> too much. Mm -hmm. I remember after the phone call, I was asking, oh, what do you guys think? You're like, well, she's very young. <laughs> true. It's true. I was, what, 19, right? Yeah. What was your first bad impression that you had about me? We don't get into that. The only thing I can remember that we went to the, the thrift store and bought you a jacket so we could go skiing. And we got up there. I don't. You didn't wear the jacket, or you didn't. Didn't want to wear it because wear it didn't look. <laughs> and you got out on the mountain and you go, "Oh, it's so cold." <laughs> I'm like, uh huh. Yeah, we would lined up all this. <laughs> The ski clothes and everything, so we could go skiing. And you you complained all the way down to the ski lodge. <laughs> I remember being super cold. Yeah, I think I've never been to the mountains with snow. You know, like why well, I don't know how cold What's it's gonna be. It's too bad. Sorry, guys. <laughs> now I'll definitely wear any, all the jackets. Okay. Última pergunta, gente. Eu deixo o Marcos tá gostando, tá? Já se divertindo. Aqui é bom de conversar também, né? Gostoso conversar. Okay. So if you could change one thing. About about me, what would it be? Well, you've just been too good looking for your own good. <laughs> <laughs> a, little, a little more clean shaven, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much for doing this video with us. It was fun. Do you like it? it you're welcome, I think. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see what other people think. <laughs> we we <laughs> enjoyed it yeah. very much. I hope you liked it. Espero que tenham gostado, gente, desse vídeo. Eles são muito fofos, amo eles. E é isso. Beijo pra vocês. Até o próximo vídeo. Tchau. Tchau. Tchau.